Hello everyone on the internet. I haven't done these in a very, very long time. I think the last time I was talking about that goddamn Rotella incident. Um, always dark in my house for some reason. I turned on some lights, but I hope you can see me. I really wanted to do like a video because stuff has happened. I had a friend who ran into a car accident. I, uh, I really wanted to talk about Tron Legacy, which I'm really excited about. Still am. I just got the soundtrack. I think I have it here. It's in, ah. it's in Tron Legacy soundtrack. Awesome. And uh, also, uh, uh, my friend Brad Carter uh, sent me a Phone Losers of America book. And I'm actually mentioned in it, so thanks, thanks, Brad. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to waste everyone's time today talking about something that I didn't even think that was a big of a deal, um, and then it got on the news everywhere, and everywhere, it, the story keeps getting weirder and weirder, and as things go on, people keep talking about it, and talking about it, and talking about it, and of course what I'm talking about is the whole um, WikiLeaks, the wiki that leaks information that no one wants to know, even though we all kind of know the bullshit that's going on. Um, it's weird because this is it's like a huge drama mess and what amuses me is that it's like some now uh, the other thing too is that I, I I will admittedly say that while I have been reading up on this I do not have all the information and most of the time I'm brain dead so if I have something inaccurate I say that's why but this is from what I understand some guy got really bleh, while working in the military, because it's one of the most stressful jobs ever, trust me, I know my entire family has a huge military history, none of it's fun. And um, he worked in the diplomatic field and saw all this crazy, mostly horrible shit, not everything was horrible, but it was classified and some of it was disgusting. So he just gave a huge chunk of it over WikiLeaks. Um, and then what happened is that apparently he got paranoid and did one of the dumbest things you could ever do, which is to tell someone else, and unfortunately he told Adrian Lamo, which is a bad idea, because A, Lamo is, <clears throat> and two is that uh, if he knew any better, everyone knows that Lamo had this big huge thing where he got arrested by being busted by a bunch of corporations because he was trying to liberate like their method to try to fix them as a white hat, and it didn't work, and they like killed his ass, and the FBI is like so far up his anus that they know what he's eating for breakfast every morning. So it's no surprise that uh, despite protests from other hackers that he turned the guy in because it's like, hey, they get to leave me alone. You take him and make his life miserable and you can make my life stop being miserable. Whee! And then unfortunately, uh, while I love WikiLeaks, Julian Lestrange. Um, and by the way, does anyone find it weird that every time I'm on the news I keep hearing Adrian Lamo, Julian Lestrange, and it sounds like the plot line for Harry Potter is definitely hollows. It's like, Julian Lestrade, the leader of WikiLeaks, and the longtime hacker Adrian Lamo with U.S. Representative Feeble Bundlewack, and it's like, what's these with these names? But Lestrade, Mr. Drama Guy, um, is now absorbing all of this hype and making some threateningly bad decisions and recently got his ass arrested because, of course, when a bunch of countries want your ass, they're like, hey, you have two left feet. We're going to arrest you. And then they charge you with everything else, you know. For example, uh, Capone killed a shitload of people. They got him for supposed tax invasion. That That's just how these things work. And it's weird because all the information that's been leaked, like, I can understand if it's like the names of like spies people in various countries have because you have to have spies to some degree. Like, that's no secret. I think that's, that's totally fine. Everyone has spies. We all know what the agency are. The United States has CIA, British has MI16, Israel has GUI Anonymous, or whatever the fuck they have. And, you know, that's fine. But, you know, basically, when you look at all the cables, it's like horribly immature stuff. It's like, I can't tell if these are like politicians that actually exist in the UN or an episode of Muppet Babies. It's that bad. It reads like a, it reads like a rejected script from the TV show Recess about a bunch of kids it recess in the backyard. It's like that bad. Or like everyone's calling each other code names that are like foo foo names. Oh, the French has emperor no clothes and, and Putin is Putin McPoo pants and all sorts of crap like that. And then of course there's like horrible things like when we're like, hey, look, there's a bunch of brown people, but some of them are American. We don't care. Fire on them. And 
you have things like that. And basically, it's, I agree with, I forget who said this, but he really summed it up perfectly, that all this information really doesn't matter. All that, all this information is, is just a reconfirmation that our go- all of our governments suck, particularly the United States, since it's a, well, it's a world superpower that is starting to lose its fame. And so it's just doing all the worst shit on the planet. And that the only people who are in trouble are these fucking people that we and the citizens of other country elect thinking that they'll actually be responsible and uh, decent and honorable and, you know, wanting to do the right things that we want them to do. And, and they just won't. They just won't. And so it all is is just a reminder of that. And I haven't seen one American, never mind any other person, who lives in a country that's not a politician, that's like you and me, who's like, damn, those WikiLeaks, that's horrible. Everyone's just like, oh, I had no idea Saudi Arabia was working for us. Or, oh, maybe China's not so mean after all. And, you know, it's actually kind of like cleared the ground. So it's like, we are bullshit, you're bullshit, you're bullshit, we're all bullshit. So let's put that, we're all bullshit, so let's just sit at the table and actually talk about real shit that matters. And what he said basically was, and I agree, that the only people who are really in jeopardy here, besides the people that they're going to go after, are these paid bureaucrats and politicians who are possibly going to lose their jobs because they're all acting like five-year-olds. And what really sucks is that it's basically like Stupid, the guy who leaked, who talked to Stupid, Lamo, who then fed the ego of Stupid, Lestrange, who affected a shit ton of Stupid, everyone in the UN, um, and just turned out to be one massive pile of Stupid. And the people who actually get damaged are people who are like you and me, who are now going to, they're going to pass laws and investigations and shit that none of us need. Um, for example, when Lamo did the whole thing, some leech hacker, probably bust the Cotties, um, attacked, uh, 2600, the magazine that used to do hackership and now is a lot more about theory than actual practical stuff because apparently they never got the memo that anyone could be like, hey, this is the 2600 club. This is the 2600 club of Guam and you can have five members and no one cares. So they saw that Lamo ran a 2600 club. So they all attacked 2600 because they thought that they had to do with what Lamo did and they had nothing to do with it. And, you know, I just recently heard on the radio that they want – that because they, they want to A, extradite Lestrange, which is stupid because if we're allowed to extradite people like Lestrange and McClellan and stuff, then other countries like India should be able to extradite the CEO of Bhopal who left about 5 million people completely poisoned for 30 generations and we refuse extradition because he pays us a ton of money being the CEO of Dow. Uh, but – that the, the, what is it called, the sent, the, the Espionage Act or something that's strong enough, so they want to make a new act where basically any sort of information that the government says is classified, which they can change at any date, um, including the, like, we classified the word potato. So if I say potato and someone else says potato from hearing me say potato, they can throw me and the person minimum jail for life just for doing that. That, that, that's just, that's fucking scary that, that they, that they want to pass like laws like that. And basically, we're going to agree to it because, of course, Americans like to trade bits of their freedom for the illusion of safety. And these are the type of things that this whole WikiLeaks drama and bullshit five-year-old cable talk and Lamo trying to get a new movie deal and the poor asshole rotting in jail because he actually thought trust exists in the world um, is going to happen. And uh, who knows where this is going to go? I hope WikiLeaks still continues. I hope they do fire Lestrange because I think they need a better, more humble spokesperson. I do like the idea of just leaking. If your information's on the internet, fuck you. It's ever there. Um, because, of course, you know, what do you have to hide? I mean, you know, a lot of people don't want to see their penis. Who cares? Uh, something that Jon Stewart said I'm rambling on. But anyhow, uh, it should be interesting to see what's going on. Um, all I know is that uh, I hope freedoms are not going to be sacrificed in the name for, like I said, the illusion of safety. And man, in five years, is this going to make a kick-ass new movie? You thought Social Network was interesting? Wait till you see the spiritual successor of uh, Social Network, uh, The Leak, with uh, Adrian Lamo uh, being starred by um, Justin Bieber. I don't know who these people are. They barely watch movies. All I care about is Trump Legacy. Uh... So yeah, I basically just rambled, and uh, yeah, WikiLeaks uh, rock on, and uh, uh, hope everything goes well.